All right. Now it's time for the second one of these. This is our Reddit deep dive, our time capsule on Reddit for PSVR 2 news. Um, now, I haven't touched the page since yesterday, but uh, like anyone, I'll, I'll peek every so often. So I have peeked a little bit, but I'm curious to see what has changed. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out. This is the PSVR subreddit. Let's reload and see what has changed. What's new for today? I can tell you one thing that's changed. People have started to get their bloody PSVR 2s, <laughs> their review units in. So um, uh, I'm keen to see where that has landed here. Surely it's not just me, me waiting for a launch. Checking. This is like the same theme as yesterday. I guess you want top of the sub. This is what you post. Um, <laughs> uh, what's her name again? Lois? Uh, Meg? Like, I, oh my God. If it, <laughs> it's very bad that I don't know. Okay, let's try again. That's the ad. I'm sure I could block that. PSVR 2 box size by Maxi King. And so that box size is not bad. That's about what I'd expect. I mean, it's a headset and two controllers and a cable and some earbuds and an unpolished PS5 just sitting there. That's it. What else we got? Based PlayStation UK. Lady Dimitriscu in VR. Uh-huh. Just saying. Oh, right. Yeah, they, uh, they, they launched a new... <clears throat> this tweet has been deleted? What? What? Did they really? Horny Brits. <laughs> oh, very true. Very, very true. <clears throat> Back in Brits. Okay, that's hilarious. Uh, made up my mind. I'm selling my Quest 2 and all its accessories to fund my PSVR 2. Let's dive into this. This looks good. Um, <clears throat> I put a lot of stock in the Quest 2 ecosystem. I've purchased the Elite Strap. <laughs> and the VR cover hand straps. I have more face covers than I could count. I bought a shitload of PC-only Quest games. Uh, I've even subscribed to Supernatural for fitness variety. I'm looking for the next-gen VR experience, and PSVR 2 is it. I want to be fully immersed in a high-fidelity virtual reality, and if the previews of the tech is any indication, this is it. I just don't see how the current Quest 2 and even the inevitable Quest 3 can compete as its biggest strength is also its biggest weakness. Having the freedom to play without a cable was such a game changer early on, but I think the novelty has worn off. How can Quest compete with the premium features the PSVR 2 headset offers without sacrificing battery? It just doesn't seem possible. But ultimately, what makes this decision simple is that Sony is a AAA title machine. Now, unfortunately, most of the Quest library feels like tech demos instead of fully realized games. I'm sorry, devs. He doesn't mean it. <clears throat> Uh, if there is one thing I won't doubt, it's that Sony knows what a quality title is. And I expect some heavy hitters in the near future. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so funny. That's so funny. Like, one hour apart. That's amazing. How do you even make larger font in Reddit? I don't, I don't know. Um, a lot of people here in North America actually play Supernatural, which you can't get in Europe. Um, which is where I was for most of my time. Welcome to the family, son. Oh, man. Love it. Absolutely love it. That just made me remember Love Fist uh, from a while back. But, like, the thing I've been feeling today as I've been seeing a lot of the VR community react to people getting boxes and stuff like that. I don't know if there's anything in the post about this, but I figured we'd stop and talk about it for a second. Um so I, few, I saw a few people who I know covered. I saw a few people who I know are big into PSVR and in that scene not get one. And it's like, I don't know. I, I personally feel like it's okay. It, when it, you know, it's, it's up to a company to decide who they want to kind of sponsor uh, to showcase their new hardware. And um, some people feel like, I don't know, snubbed by that. And I don't know, like relationships. It's like, it's, it's certainly not a given. Um, and, you, and a lot of the people who do end up in that spot have earned it one way or another. And one of the problems with the VR bubble is that a lot of people will feel like, hey, you know, why does 
the BBC tech reviewer get a copy when this PSVR focused person doesn't. Um, and oftentimes it's because of, again, the connections and stuff that they have, uh, the work that they've done, maybe the work they've done previously, or perhaps that that guy or girl just, um, you know, met someone at a party X years ago. But my personal impression of early hardware has always been as a creator, it's not just a double-edged sword. It's oftentimes more trouble than it's worth because if the hardware doesn't turn up on time and like you're like juggling between do I buy one? Do I not? Like, how, how's this working? Like in the past, I've gotten some Quest stuff, uh, for example, from um, Oculus uh, back then. And it's like it would show it would either show up late or they would renege on their offer or it was always a problem. It, it really often uh, introduced a problem. The clarity of paying for your own equipment, I also think, is nice as someone who reviews stuff because then you can hold up the card and say, Hey, I'm unbiased. And I don't I don't actually buy that. I, I think your biases come from all different angles. Um let's stop talking quests and stuff like that. But the point being, some people have review units that I didn't know that was gonna happen, but it was so funny. I posted yesterday's uh time capsule, and then like a lot of these messages came when I woke up and I was like, oh, that's funny. Also, you guys seem to like this time capsule video, so I will I mean I was gonna do it anyway. But I was expecting, like, yeah, it's going to get 20 views. But it, it did quite well. Actually, it's doing very well on average. So thank you for your interest. Normally with vlogs, it's like, hey, cool, new thing. And then, fuck it, Ace, he's still doing it. <laughs> you know, 20 episodes in. My plan was to take this all the way up to receipt of and live stream unboxing. But let's see where it goes. More Reddit. Okay. Um... Oh, the innovative gameplay features. This is something that's really cool. Okay, so we won't run the whole thing, but I did want to show just little bits of it in case people hadn't seen it. Go check this out. I mean, this is basically, it's got the GT7 stuff, but like, again, I, we talked about this yesterday, right? Oh, the audio, the haptics. Oh, man. Um, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to this stuff and just being able to finally get some new hardware in my hands. I'm, 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 I'm very excited. Very excited for all of that. Uh, what does this say? PSVR 2 arrives in just two weeks. Uh, Ace of Spades. I've definitely seen names of Ace of Spades. Oh no, it's been deleted. Oh, that's the, uh, that's gotta be the UK one again. Jeff Knightley from the Game Awards also got a VR 2. Um, I don't know who, who of you call it you know it's, it's not what a fucking why does this happen to happen to us every single night I, I click on something and it's like oh let's just load twitch or twitter um by the way twitter just fell down today we are hard at working on zenith's third class here's a preview okay that's a straight psvr one thing building a crafting this looks like an ad sayu vr um Perfect single player PC VR game. Oh, it's promoted. Yeah, that's an ad. Sayub is like Bloom City. Ian Higton from Eurogamer got. And let's just take a look. Let's take a look. Because this is these are box shots. Oh god, this is gonna come here. Okay. I mean, it, it honestly, the box looks very similar to the first box, which had a flimsy blue layer on the top. And if any of you use the product box to showcase it, <laughs> okay, I've, I've done it too. I've made out with product boxes. It's fine. Um, <laughs> for fuck's sake. I can eat Stop it. I'm ruining my thing. Here, come on. Um, all right, let's go. Let's get away from him and his thing. All right, what else we got? Uh, Get ready for a surprise in the mail, not from me. It's from the thing, you know, I don't know this. What is this about another Yoma? What is this? Why is my connection? Sorry, Reddit can't be reached. What the hell's going on? Oh man, I'm not having a good second episode of this. Uh, what is this? More PSV, this P at the space. Screw the space. Screw the space. Don't do the space. All right, this is my pitch right now. PSVR 2. All together. All together. No space. 
Affect the space. <laughs> Affect the space. It should have a space. We, we, we already had this debate with the first headset. PSVR is one block of text. I know the company thinks otherwise. They're wrong. They're wrong. All right. Uh, what is this saying? Hi, mate. When you start sharing the coverage, more will be happening in the coming days to launch. I can't say when. Yep. So there are going to be people who are getting to stream it and unbox it and showcase their stuff. It's probably a week out from launch would be my guess because giving people like a week with the content to kind of get ready seems right or maybe it'll be like three days before but i, I would think it would be a, a week up in the run run to it uh this one says uh welcome to the family just wanted to say thanks let's let's read this i like these warm hosts this is by i usually say thanks well <laughs> name checks out uh hey P psvr sub just wanted to express some gratitude i've been wanting to get into vr for a long time and reading a few of the things posted here helped me get into the hype train. My only disappointment was to have to experience this alone. But today, after I sent this sub to my best friend last week, he jumped on the train and pre-ordered. Couldn't be happier. Thanks to all of you. See you in two weeks. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, Cob uh, Cobsy, Cobsy says, I'm in the same situation. I wanted to post something similar. I was on the fence about pre-ordering mainly because of the price. After I pre-ordered, there has been some negativity, which caused me to consider canceling. But this sub explained these so-called negatives and kept me going. Really looking forward to the 22nd through 28th. When I was a kid playing my PS1, I never thought a time would come when I would be able to be inside a game. I believe this headset is going to be the start of a huge surge in VR purchases and mainstream coming by the end of the year due to the plug-in and play simplicity. See you on the other side. I feel so much... People are so good. Uh, I'm hoping that one day the tech has advanced so far, we get a real life version of Quest World from Johnny Quest or Oasis from Ready Player One. The thing is, I I really like, totally, in so many ways, this feels like the Rift 2. Yes, I love that. I love that. That's really good. Okay, go on, dog. There you go, you get my second upvote. <clears throat> AAA games on PSVR. We're just going to do a few of these. As I notice the time ticking up, we're going to put a cork in it. But I wanted to get together and actually, like, get a chance to share with each other our thoughts, what's what's happened in the last day, and just kind of keep this train rolling. The other thing that I was just going to say as a quick side to the other platform, and maybe just mention as well, because I had did some thinking through this, like, what's my show plan going to be from here on in? Primarily PSVR 2, okay? Because it looks great, should stream great, I'm ready to go. Um, my whole stream stack and space and everything is, is kind of set for that. So PSVR 2 main, augmented by Quest on, um, for PCVR titles that I can't do on PSVR 2. Um, and then standalone, I suppose, with Quest at the moment. But I'd like to go, if I can, to the HP Elite XR for PCVR stuff. And then maybe Quest 3 for standalone by the time we get to the end of the year. So we'll see where, where, where all of that goes. But I was just playing um, golf with my dad. I hope Golf Plus, you guys are planning uh, to get on to PSVR 2 because it's a good game. And I want to stop buying courses for Quest. I'll, I'll talk about that on the podcast this weekend. I'm not going to do that here. That's F Reality Podcast. Check us out if you haven't heard of it already. Now, let's keep going through reddit the whole point of this is to have a time capsule so that in the future you can go back and go like oh what was happening you know with 15 days left uh to launch all right triple a games on psvr i only recently discovered there are mods on pc that allow you to play some of the best games red dead spider-man hogwarts for example and we're likely to see it it says is there any easy, easy way the pcvr seems to be able to now play these okay are we likely to see more VR ports for AAA games in the same easy way? Um, the closest thing we have to all of this in VR on Dreams, but we're not getting mods. Um, yeah, I don't know how that's coming over. But again, that's PC is great for mods, but sometimes the mods, because they're not native, like personally, I mean, I've had loads of fun with mods that way. The most recent one was Horizon Zero Dawn, the PC mod from Luke Ross which works, works quite well. It's a bit of a beast on the PC. So it's like, it does, I won't say it chugs, but like it, it needs, it needs to be performance tuned. 
Um, so it doesn't give you the same feeling as like playing in, you know, 4K on your big TV or whatever. Verizon, I'm looking forward to. Definitely. Okay, a couple more. Uh, Cave Digger. Oh, Cave Digger 2. Oh, yes. I forgot about them. I am not a fan of Cave, D Cave Digger 2. Um, I'll be completely honest. Uh, I normally lie to everybody, but uh, for, for just this moment, I'll I'll be completely honest. I, I tried to play the main game. Or I, mean, I mean, I tried to play this game, and it just felt like a... Like a almost like they took the original scope of the game, which was super, super fun. Big, big fan of the first one. And blow it out to the scale of Deep Rock Galactic. And it didn't work for me. It really didn't feel right. So, I don't know. M maybe it's better. I think they, they put a lot of work into it. But it feels kind of, not empty, but you don't have interactions in the right places. Their, their cabin where you store your tools. It just didn't have that same kind of intimate, grindy game feel. And I think it's a bit of a miss, personally. So, but let's see. Maybe, maybe uh, that's just a port, right? So P PSVR can, can do that too. There's the one from yesterday. As someone brand new to VR, this is the experience I'm expecting. Two weeks left. What the hell is this? Uh, I've not pre clicked this. Come on. What is this? <laughs> what? Two weeks left. This is just. It's gonna be someone barfing, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Okay, what? Stop as soon as you feel any kind of nausea. Set up a fan. Ginger mints. Okay, so this is the age-old classic of if you're new to VR and you feel sim sickness, the best tip I can give you is stop when you feel not nauseous, when you feel off in any way. Stop. That's it. It's the golden age-old rule. Just stop. Wait until you're perfectly fine. Give yourself a little bit of buffer room. Go back in. Keep trying. It's the analogy I always give, which works well for me, has worked well over the years for other people who I've educated um, or helped to give tips to. You Like a new pair of shoes, like a new uncomfortable pair of shoes, if you feel discomfort, come out. And then when you feel okay again, to try again, go back in. Go for as long as you can again come out you're kind of training yourself up but i'd say in modern day vr systems m most people in most games will feel okay because it's a proper frame rate uh your eyes are kind of well being tricked you've got the full surround of the headset uh you've got eye tracking so that means it's also going to be able to render what you're looking at in, in decent enough detail to get, again kind of trick your brain so you shouldn't get that whole hey i've been poisoned nauseous feeling because you're your eyes, your brain are working. The vestibular system might trigger, but because it's standing, uh, as opposed to like room scale VR, should be okay. I'm trying to think of the games that might trigger it. Um, I think you'll be fine with most. Most of what's out. Maybe something like Saints and Sinners, where you're walking. That, that sliding motion, that continuous slide motion can sometimes, because again, your inner ear is not is like, I'm sliding, why am I not picking up? then that might make you sick. So, but that game's worth it, I'd say, to just try. Try to slide. Uh, Ginger, some people like. I think that's just, again, it's just masking it. It's just, it's just not really. Start with games that use al alternative locomotion for big worlds such as warping and snap and all that kind of thing. Yeah. The fan is so underrated. Honestly, fans work pretty well. They work pretty well. I'm curious to see if our old trick with the fan plugged into the USB-C port on the PSV... Oh, no. It doesn't have an open PS uh, USB port, so that won't work. That's okay. Okay, so the next thing we have here is fun GT7 track. Combinations to show VR friends to. Imagine a world. Um, pardon me. One second here. I need to... Okay. What is that? Stop. Freaking ads. Jesus Christ. I can hate ads. Imagine a world where... What? Please be gentle. Okay, we've seen this. So I think we've seen... Oh. Saints, Saints and Sinners on sale with VR2 upgrade incoming. Is it? On sale for $24.99. What was the standard? This is Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Tourist Edition... But that's 
Dude, that's that's the first one. Is the first one getting a PSVR 2 upgrade? I don't think so. I don't think so. Am I wrong? Uh, bummer. Clearly I missed out on better deals. Still a sale is a sale. Gonna wait for number two to go on sale before getting it. Uh, that, that free PS Plus lineup was from November. Okay. Why didn't you just buy the bundle with the second game? Got enough games. Posted this because I thought it was a good deal. Please down downvote if irrelevant. Um, guys just trying to help out. So I don't know why people sometimes do that. Like that's funny. And then there's a there's a bundle here. What's the bundle? What's the bundle? How much? Fifty pounds. <laughs> Shit. Uh, the first game should be played, is my opinion. Uh, and I'm still getting some like UK currency stuff because of uh, a number of reasons, but that's probably just a UK link. Um, okay. Okay. Pictures of the box. All right, let's check out the box. This is uh, this is from the Japanese side. It's got Japanese stuff on the box. Not very helpful to us. It's a really simple looking box. One thing I'll say is be careful when you're opening it up. The paper front on the original ripped for me right here like right across here it like tore so uh and it's the only product box that i've torn in a visible way and i had to kind of cover it up with a sticker and stuff uh if you're going to use it as like a product box background or you're just going to you know put it on your mantle as a piece of pride be careful with the box opening it you're going to be excited just be like take a deep breath get your letter opener or your katana out i've seen some people unboxing with katanas and stuff and i think that's stupid I think that's, I think this is dumb. Um, but hey, guess it looks good on a video. How should I clean my lenses? Usually hot water, you know, and uh, soapy thing, but nothing nasty. Um, there's instructions that come with it. I'm not going to do that. Preview from Northern Sight. Okay. Introducing casuals. I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done. Motion sickness when compared. On rails shooters. Will Sanson Sinners Chapter One be a launch title? Ah, no, I think it's the answer. If I'm not mistaken. March twenty first. No, it's not March twenty first. Coming at the same time as Chapter Two. Is it? Oh. Oh. For the anniversary of The Walking Dead: Saints and Sinners, players who already purchased the game on PSVR will be able to download the game for free on PSVR Two when it launches on March twenty first. Ah, cool. Oh, that's great. The source is the description in the video. Fantastic. Okay, that's why the other one was made sense. Good. Uh, how are you expecting to see Half-Life Alex releasing at some point for PSVR 2? I've been waiting since launch to play this game. PSVR 2 would be a perfect fit. How are you expecting? How are you expecting? What does this mean? What are people saying in response? Lots of Sony exclusives came to Steam, so it would be cool if Valve let their game come to PSVR 2. I think Half-Life Alex would be an obvious one, right? Like, I really do. Um, and I think, I yeah, like this person, right? I'd be surprised if it does not release on PSVR 2. Totally agree. Is it going to be in the next week? You know, are they going to announce it? Eh, I don't know. It would certainly hype people up, and then... We'd have the same feckin' problem. That's the only thing I have a problem with. We have the same problem. Units wouldn't be available. So Sony would again be in the same spot they've been in, which is scalpers gouging the feck out of uh, consumers to just be able to get access to PSVR 2 setup. Now, I'm going to tell you my stuff. I've got a headset coming from Amazon Canada. I've got the controller dock coming from Best Buy and is that it i think that's it and we're ready to go got the capture card tested the stream all of our stuff all our stack is fine i can set up down here i can set up upstairs I, i'm good i'm good so as long as a, a critical piece of equipment doesn't fail man i'm looking forward to streaming with this stuff okay let's round it out and do another article or two and then that's us for uh today's checkup expect there will eventually be a pinball psvr2 game released is it possible to connect external game buttons via an interface 
to a PS5. I want to build a VR pinball cabinet. You what? I mean, there's that new controller, uh, which is uh, Leonardo. Uh, assuming they use haptics, right? Apparently in the works. If we got Zen Pinball on VR, I would never get the bloody thing back from my wife. <laughs> Hide it from your wife then. That's the only way. Yeah, maybe disassemble a pair of sense controllers. Then it, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't take that stuff. This is the this is the this is the one that I wanted. Maybe you could get one of those Project Leonardo controllers and attach pinball cabinet buttons to the inputs. Yeah, because that's actually got inputs and it's designed for the purpose. I'm gonna upvote that. Good job, Hoser. Isn't Hoser a... Uh... All right, any info on whether we'll get NBA League pass like Quest for sports and entertainment? Does do any of you actually use your VR headset for watching sports or events? I mean, I'll go to music gigs sometimes, but that's to be in it, not just to watch it. Like, I don't use it as a viewer so much. Now, do remember, if you didn't know this already, the headset allows a cinematic mode, and that means you can sit back and watch stuff in like a big screen environment like a desktop or something like that and that works too anyway i think this one's gone long, long enough um looking forward to yeah still looking forward to it i'm glad people have gotten their review units because now we know that like the busy work is happening and i like when that's kind of public when it's kind of like okay we received our stuff because it means that you know what's going on behind the scenes the way meta normally does it is they'll ship the equipment they'll say everyone hush hush don't say anything and then there's a date on which like videos just appear and you're like, oh my God, you had the headset all this time. But one thing I wanted to say, and this is how we're going to exit from tonight's session is I know PSVR 2 developers, people who have had this equipment are sitting there fucking snickering because we're all this FOMO's bubbling up and certain people are like, oh, I should have gotten a headset. They're like, I've had a headset for years. <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's fantastic. Anyway, see you on tomorrow's, um, next edition of zim unboxes reddit all the way up to launch and if, <laughs> if you guys are liking it then we'll keep going you've been great in the comments keep them coming keep them coming uh whatever you're thinking whatever your thoughts are even if it's like i want to strip nude and rub my naked bollocks over the sense controllers while they rumble if you want to put that that's fine put that in comments all right <laughs> see you tomorrow